Mastering Cognitive Behavioral Therapy, From Foundations to Advanced Practice Description This comprehensive course, Mastering Cognitive Behavioral Therapy, From Foundations to Advanced Practice, is designed to equip participants with a deep and nuanced understanding of cognitive behavioral therapy, CBT, its application across various psychological disorders, and the journey towards becoming an effective CBT practitioner. Covering foundational principles, advanced therapeutic techniques, and the path to professional development, this course offers a rich blend of theoretical knowledge, practical skills, and insights into ethical practice. Participants will embark on a structured learning journey, beginning with the history and evolution of CBT, moving through core principles, cognitive and behavioral techniques, and exploring advanced concepts including transcendence and mindfulness. The course emphasizes practical application through interactive activities, role-playing, and case studies, ensuring that learners not only grasp theoretical concepts but also acquire the skills to apply them effectively in clinical settings. Creating comprehensive and fully explained course content for a module on cognitive behavioral therapy, CBT, especially tailored for both students and teachers, requires a detailed yet concise approach to ensure clarity, engagement, and applicability. Given the breadth of your request, let's focus on creating detailed content for Module 1, Introduction to Cognitive Behavioral Therapy, as a model for how each module could be developed. This approach will help us maintain depth and quality of information within the scope of this platform. Module 1, Introduction to Cognitive Behavioral Therapy Lesson 1.1, History and Evolution of CBT Objective, Understand the Origins, Development and Key Figures in the History of CBT Content Definition of CBT, Cognitive Behavioral Therapy, CBT, is a form of psychotherapy that treats problems and boosts happiness by modifying dysfunctional emotions, behaviors, and thoughts. It emphasizes the importance of the interconnectedness between thoughts, feelings, and behaviors. Historical Background CBT was developed in the 1960s by Dr. Aaron T. Beck. Initially focused on depression, Beck noted that thoughts significantly impact feelings and behaviors, thus introducing the cognitive model. Key Figures Aaron Beck, founder of Cognitive Therapy, crucial for the cognitive aspect of CBT. Albert Ellis, developed Rational Emotive Behavior Therapy, REBT, a precursor to CBT, emphasizing the role of beliefs in emotional disturbances. Evolution, over decades, CBT has evolved to include various techniques and applications, expanding its use beyond depression to include a range of psychological disorders, including schizophrenia. How to do slash apply. Explore key texts by Aaron Beck and Albert Ellis to understand foundational concepts. Engage in discussions or reflective writing on how historical context influenced the development of CBT. Lesson 1.2, Principles of CBT. Objective, grasp the core principles behind CBT and how they apply to therapy. Content. Core principles. The cognitive model. The way we perceive situations influences our emotional, physiological, and behavioral responses. Collaborative empiricism, therapist and client work together to identify and test negative beliefs through experimentation. Structured sessions, CBT sessions are goal-oriented and follow a structured format, including agenda setting and homework assignments. Definition of key terms. Cognitive model a theoretical concept that suggests our thoughts are the primary determinants of our emotions and behaviors. Collaborative empiricism, a therapeutic approach where therapist and client collaborate to gather evidence to test the validity of cognitive distortions. How to do slash apply. Practice setting a structured agenda for a hypothetical CBT session. Conduct a role play to experience collaborative empiricism by challenging a negative thought. Lesson 1.3, CBT and Schizophrenia, an overview. Objective, explore the application of CBT in the context of schizophrenia, including its effectiveness and strategies. Content. 
Effectiveness of CBT in Schizophrenia Research shows CBT can help reduce symptoms of schizophrenia, particularly in managing delusions and hallucinations. CBT techniques for schizophrenia Techniques include reality testing, cognitive restructuring to challenge delusional beliefs, and developing coping strategies for dealing with hallucinations. Strategies Reality testing Checking thoughts against reality to distinguish between what's real and what's not. Cognitive restructuring, identifying and challenging unhelpful thoughts and beliefs to alter behavior and emotion. How to do slash apply. Practice cognitive restructuring by identifying a common delusional belief and brainstorming ways to challenge it. Develop a simple coping strategy for auditory hallucinations, such as using headphones to listen to music. How to implement the philosophy of teaching. Engage with curiosity, encourage students and teachers to approach CBT with a sense of exploration and openness to learning. Active learning, utilize interactive exercises, like role-playing and reflective writing, to deepen understanding. Feedback loop, create opportunities for feedback on the application of CBT principles, fostering a growth mindset. This module structure aims to provide a comprehensive, engaging, and practical introduction to CBT, tailored to the unique needs of both students and educators. By defining key concepts, offering historical context, and providing actionable steps, the course seeks to ensure a deep understanding of CBT's foundations and applications. Continuing from the foundation laid in the first module, Let's further develop the course content by diving deeper into the practical application of CBT techniques, particularly focusing on cognitive distortions and the management of delusions, as well as how these principles can be translated into effective teaching and therapeutic strategies. Module 2, Foundations of CBT. Lesson 2.1, Understanding Cognitive Processes. Objective to provide a comprehensive understanding of cognitive processes, their role in mental health, and their impact on behavior and emotions. Content Cognitive processes defined, cognitive processes refer to all mental activities associated with thinking, knowing, remembering, and communicating. In the context of CBT, these processes are crucial because they influence our emotional and behavioral responses. The Role of Cognitive Processes in Mental Health, How Automatic Thoughts and Cognitive Distortions Can Contribute to Mental Health Disorders, Including Anxiety, Depression, and Schizophrenia. Identifying Cognitive Distortions, Introduce Common Cognitive Distortions, Such as Black and White Thinking, Overgeneralization and Catastrophizing, That Can Skew Perception and Lead to Mental Health Issues. How to Do Slash Apply. Activity. Identifying cognitive distortions in everyday scenarios. Exercise, journaling to recognize personal patterns of cognitive distortions and their impact on emotions and behaviors. Lesson 2.2, Identifying Cognitive Distortions. Objective, deepen the understanding of cognitive distortions and how to identify them in oneself and others. Content, deep dive into cognitive distortions exploring each cognitive distortion in detail, including examples and their effects on individuals' perceptions and behaviors. Strategies for identifying distortions, techniques such as thought records and the double column technique, where individuals list negative thoughts and counter them with rational responses. How to do slash apply. Exercise, create a thought record to identify and counter personal cognitive distortions. Group activity, sharing and discussing cognitive distortions in a supportive environment to learn from diverse perspectives. Lesson 2.3, Introduction to Behavioral Techniques. Objective, introduce behavioral techniques used in CBT and their application in managing behaviors influenced by cognitive distortions. Content. Behavioral techniques defined. Behavioral techniques in CBT aim to modify unhealthy behaviors through conditioning and learning strategies. Examples of behavioral techniques, exposure therapy, behavioral activation, and role-playing, each designed to confront and change undesirable behaviors. Integrating cognitive and behavioral techniques, 
how cognitive restructuring can be complemented by behavioral experiments to challenge and change distorted cognitions and maladaptive behaviors. How to do slash apply. Exercise, design a behavioral experiment to test the validity of a negative assumption. Role play, practicing exposure therapy techniques in a controlled, supportive setting. Implementing the philosophy of teaching. Interactive learning, each lesson includes activities that promote engagement with the material, encouraging learners to apply concepts in real-world settings. Critical thinking, encourages students and teachers to critically analyze their thought patterns and behaviors, fostering self-awareness and growth. Supportive environment, emphasizes creating a supportive learning environment where participants feel safe to share and explore their thoughts and behaviors. This module is designed to build on the introductory concepts of CBT, providing learners with the tools to understand and begin addressing cognitive distortions and maladaptive behaviors. Through detailed explanations, practical applications, and interactive exercises, learners will gain a deeper insight into how cognitive and behavioral techniques can be integrated to improve mental health and well-being. Building upon the foundational understanding of cognitive processes and distortions, as well as the introduction to behavioral techniques, we move forward to more advanced applications of CBT, particularly focusing on cognitive restructuring, managing delusions, and advanced therapeutic strategies. Module 3, Cognitive Techniques in CBT. Lesson 3.1, Techniques for Identifying Automatic Thoughts. Objective. Equip learners with the skills to identify automatic thoughts and understand their influence on emotions and behaviors. Content Automatic thoughts explained, define automatic thoughts as immediate, involuntary thoughts that arise in response to a stimulus, which can be distorted and lead to negative emotions. Techniques for identification, teach methods such as mindfulness and the use of thought diaries to capture and reflect on automatic thoughts as they occur. Analyzing automatic thoughts, introduce the concept of cognitive distortions within automatic thoughts and how to distinguish between helpful and unhelpful thoughts. How to do slash apply. Exercise, keeping a thought diary for one week to record automatic thoughts and the situations in which they arise. Group discussion, sharing experiences of identifying automatic thoughts and the challenges faced. Lesson 3.2 challenging and modifying beliefs. Objective, learn how to challenge and modify unhelpful beliefs that underlie automatic thoughts and contribute to distress. Content. The nature of beliefs in CBT, differentiate between core beliefs, intermediate beliefs, and automatic thoughts. Challenging unhelpful beliefs, introduce techniques like the Socratic method, where questions are used to examine the evidence for and against beliefs and cognitive restructuring to modify those beliefs. Creating new, adaptive beliefs, guide learners through the process of developing healthier beliefs that lead to more positive emotional and behavioral outcomes. How to do slash apply. Activity, use the Socratic questioning worksheet to challenge a personal unhelpful belief. Skill building, practice cognitive restructuring through role plays or simulations, focusing on replacing negative beliefs with positive alternatives. Lesson 3.3, Dealing with Delusions and Hallucinations. Objective, address the application of CBT techniques to manage delusions and hallucinations in schizophrenia. Content. Understanding delusions and hallucinations, define these symptoms and their common occurrences in schizophrenia. CBT techniques for management. Focus on reality testing, normalization, and the development of coping strategies to reduce the distress associated with these experiences. Building a coping strategy, teach how to construct individualized coping strategies that can help manage the impact of delusions and hallucinations on daily life. How to do slash apply. Exercise, develop a personal coping strategy for a hypothetical hallucination using techniques like distraction, reality testing, or seeking social support. Workshop, in small groups, create a comprehensive management plan for dealing with delusions, incorporating multiple CBT techniques. Implementing the philosophy of teaching. Empowerment through knowledge, 
this module empowers learners by providing them with tools and techniques to understand and modify their thought patterns, beliefs, and responses to psychosis. Engagement and interaction activities are designed to encourage active participation, fostering a deeper understanding through practice and discussion. Reflective learning encourages learners to reflect on their learning process and the applicability of CBT techniques to real-life situations, enhancing personal growth and professional skills. This module aims to deepen learners' understanding of cognitive techniques within CBT, focusing on practical skills for identifying, challenging, and modifying unhelpful thoughts and beliefs. Through a combination of theoretical learning and practical application, it prepares learners to effectively use these techniques in both personal and professional contexts, with a particular emphasis on managing symptoms of schizophrenia. As we advance further into the course, we transition from foundational cognitive techniques to exploring behavioral interventions within CBT, detailing their application, and delving into advanced concepts that aim at achieving transcendence through therapeutic practice. Module 4 Behavioral Techniques in CBT Lesson 4.1 Exposure and Response Prevention ERP Objective To understand and apply ERP, a critical behavioral technique in CBT for addressing anxiety and phobic disorders. Content ERP Explained Define ERP as a therapy technique where patients are gradually exposed to a feared object or context without the opportunity to engage in the usual response. The role of ERP in CBT, discuss how ERP is used to break the cycle of fear and avoidance by facilitating habituation. Planning and implementing ERP, guide on how to safely and effectively plan an ERP session, including setting realistic goals and expectations. How to do slash apply. Activity, design a step-by-step -step ERP plan for a common phobia, for example, fear of spiders. Simulation, role play an ERP session, focusing on therapist-client interaction and the management of anxiety. Lesson 4.2, activity scheduling and behavioral activation. Objective, Teach how to use activity scheduling and behavioral activation to combat depressive symptoms by increasing engagement with rewarding activities. Content Behavioral activation defined, a technique used to help individuals increase their contact with positively reinforcing activities. The process of activity scheduling, how to identify, plan, and engage in rewarding activities systematically. Overcoming barriers to activation, Strategies for addressing common obstacles, such as lack of motivation and negative forecasting. How to do slash apply. Exercise, create a personal activity schedule for a week, including both necessary tasks and rewarding activities. Group activity, share and discuss strategies for overcoming barriers to behavioral activation. Lesson 4.3, Social Skills Training. Objective. Explore the use of social skills training in CBT to enhance interpersonal effectiveness and reduce social anxiety. Content Social skills training explained, an intervention that focuses on improving communication skills, assertiveness and the ability to form interpersonal relationships. Components of social skills training, key areas such as starting conversations, maintaining eye contact, and expressing feelings assertively. Implementing social skills training, techniques for teaching and practicing social skills, including role-playing and feedback. How to do slash apply. Role-play, engage in structured role-plays to practice different aspects of social interactions. Reflection, reflect on personal experiences of social anxiety and how improved social skills can mitigate these feelings. Module 5, Advanced Concepts in CBT. Lesson 5.1, From Knowledge to Wisdom in CBT. Objective, to transition from theoretical understanding to the practical wisdom of applying CBT principles in therapy and life. Content. The Path to Wisdom, discuss the journey from acquiring knowledge about CBT techniques to integrating these practices into one's therapeutic style and personal growth. Integrative Practice, 
How to Blend Cognitive and Behavioral Techniques Seamlessly into Therapy Sessions for More Effective Outcomes Ethical Considerations Understanding the ethical implications of CBT practice, including respect for client autonomy and confidentiality. How to do slash apply. Self-assessment, reflect on personal strengths and areas for growth in the application of CBT principles. Case study analysis, examine complex case studies to identify integrative and ethical approaches to therapy. Lesson 5.2, Transcendental Wisdom in CBT. Objective, explore the concept of transcendence in the context of CBT and its significance for achieving profound therapeutic outcomes. Content Transcendence defined, going beyond traditional therapy limits to reach a deeper understanding and connection with the self and others. Applications in therapy, how transcendental wisdom can be applied to facilitate breakthroughs in therapy, especially for clients with chronic or resistant conditions. Mindfulness and Acceptance, Incorporating Mindfulness and Acceptance Practices into CBT to Enhance Self-Awareness and Emotional Regulation How to do slash apply Meditation Exercise, Practice Mindfulness Meditation as a Tool for Cultivating Presence and Acceptance Group Discussion, Share Experiences of Transcendence or Moments of Profound Insight in Personal or Professional Contexts Lesson 5.3 Achieving Transcendence Through CBT Objective, Synthesize Learning to Understand How CBT Can Be a Pathway to Personal and Professional Transcendence Content Integrating CBT with Life Philosophy, Discussion on How CBT Principles Can Inform and Enrich One's Life Philosophy and Approach to Challenges The Therapist's Journey Exploring the therapist's role in facilitating transcendence for clients and the importance of self-care and continuous learning. Future directions in CBT, looking ahead to how CBT might evolve to incorporate more holistic and transcendent aspects of human experience. How to do slash apply. Reflective writing, encourage learners to write a personal reflection on how they can integrate CBT into their professional identity and personal growth. Creative Project, design a project or presentation that encapsulates the journey through CBT, from foundational techniques to transcendental wisdom. Implementing the philosophy of teaching. Holistic Approach, these modules emphasize a holistic approach to learning, where theoretical knowledge, practical skills and personal growth are interwoven. Interactive and Reflective Learning, Activities are designed to promote deep engagement, reflection, and application, fostering a learning environment where wisdom can emerge from the integration of theory and practice. Empowerment and ethical practice, encouraging empowerment through self-awareness, ethical practice, and the pursuit of transcendence in both therapy and life. This advanced section of the course aims to deepen the learner's understanding of CBT, not just as a therapeutic tool, but as a pathway to personal and professional growth. By exploring advanced concepts and integrating them with practical techniques, the course seeks to prepare learners for a profound journey of discovery, healing, and transcendence. As we conclude our comprehensive mini-course on cognitive behavioral therapy, CBT, we focus on solidifying the role of a CBT practitioner, understanding the path to becoming a certified CBT therapist, and exploring continuous professional development and self-care practices. This final segment aims to encapsulate the essence of being a CBT practitioner, emphasizing the importance of ongoing learning, ethical practice, and personal well-being. Module 6, Practicing CBT. Lesson 6.1, The Therapeutic Relationship. Objective highlight the significance of the therapeutic relationship in CBT and strategies to foster a strong, collaborative bond with clients. Content Foundations of the therapeutic relationship, discuss the elements of trust, respect, empathy, and collaboration as core to the therapist-client relationship. Building rapport, techniques for establishing and maintaining rapport, including active listening, empathy, and setting clear boundaries. The role of the therapist, explore the therapist's role as a facilitator of change, emphasizing the balance between guiding clients and empowering them to take charge of their own therapy. 
How to do slash apply. Role play, simulate initial therapy sessions to practice building rapport and setting the stage for effective collaboration. Reflection, reflect on personal strengths and areas for improvement in establishing therapeutic relationships. Lesson 6.2, Structuring CBT Sessions. Objective, understand how to structure CBT sessions effectively, from initial assessment to concluding sessions. Content. Session structure, overview of the typical structure of a CBT session, including agenda setting, review of homework, introduction of new content, and assignment of new homework. Goal setting, importance of setting specific, measurable, achievable, relevant, and time-bound, smart, goals in therapy. Termination, guidelines for concluding therapy, including discussing progress, planning for the future, and addressing potential setbacks. How to do slash apply. Exercise, develop a mock session plan, incorporating all elements of a structured CBT session. Group activity, practice setting SMART goals based on hypothetical client scenarios. Lesson 6.3, setting goals and homework assignments. Objective, Master the art of setting therapeutic goals and assigning effective homework to reinforce learning and progress in CBT. Content Purpose of homework, discuss the role of homework assignments in CBT, emphasizing their importance in applying learned skills outside of sessions. Types of homework assignments, overview of common types of homework, including thought records, behavioral experiments, and reading assignments. Feedback and adjustment. Strategies for providing feedback on homework, addressing challenges, and making necessary adjustments to maximize benefit. How to do slash apply. Activity, create a range of homework assignments tailored to different client needs and objectives. Simulation, conduct a mock session focusing on homework review, feedback, and adjustment. Module 7, Becoming a CBT Therapist. Lesson 7.1 training and certification for CBT therapists. Objective, navigate the path to becoming a certified CBT therapist, including the necessary training, qualifications, and continuing education requirements. Content. Requirements for certification, outline the educational background, supervised clinical experience, and specific CBT training required for certification. Certification bodies, Introduce major organizations that certify CBT therapists, such as the Academy of Cognitive Therapy, ACT. Lifelong learning, emphasize the importance of ongoing education, supervision, and professional development in maintaining competency and staying current with CBT advancements. How to do slash apply. Research assignment. Investigate the certification process for CBT therapists in your region, including requirements and available training programs. Panel discussion, invite certified CBT therapists to discuss their paths to certification and offer advice to aspiring practitioners. Lesson 7.2, Best Practices for CBT Therapists. Objective, establish best practices for CBT therapists focusing on ethical considerations, self-awareness, and continuous skill development. Content Ethical practice, review ethical standards in psychotherapy, including confidentiality, informed consent, and professional boundaries. Self-reflection and supervision, the role of self-reflection and supervision in identifying biases, preventing burnout, and enhancing therapeutic effectiveness. Advancing skills, Methods for staying informed about the latest CBT research, techniques, and resources through workshops, conferences, and professional associations. How to do slash apply. Self-reflection exercise, engage in regular self-reflection to assess personal and professional growth, challenges, and areas for improvement. Continuing education plan, develop a plan for ongoing professional development including specific goals and resources. Lesson 7.3, Self-Care for CBT Therapists. Objective, emphasize the importance of self-care for therapists to maintain personal well-being and professional effectiveness. Content. 
self-care strategies, explore a range of self-care practices tailored to the needs of mental health professionals, including physical activity, mindfulness, and hobbies. Balancing work and life, techniques for managing work-life balance, setting boundaries, and preventing burnout. Community and support, the value of professional support networks and peer supervision groups in providing emotional support and fostering a sense of community. How to do slash apply. Self-care plan, create a personalized self-care plan, incorporating strategies that support physical, emotional, and professional well-being. Support group formation, initiate or join a peer support group for ongoing discussion and mutual support among CBT professionals. Conclusion and next steps. Upon completing this comprehensive mini-course on CBT, learners are equipped with a deep understanding of cognitive and behavioral therapies, practical skills for applying these techniques, and insights into the professional journey of a CBT therapist. This course not only aims to enhance therapeutic skills but also fosters personal growth, ethical practice, and a commitment to lifelong learning. Participants are encouraged to continue exploring, practicing, and reflecting on their experiences with CBT, always striving for excellence and compassion in their work. Given the comprehensive coverage of cognitive behavioral therapy, CBT, from foundational principles to advanced therapeutic techniques and professional development, this course aims to ensure that learners not only gain a thorough understanding of CBT but also are well equipped to apply these techniques ethically and effectively in their practice. To encapsulate the journey of learning and application, here are the concluding elements and resources that can further aid learners in their continuous professional growth. Module 8, Top 20 Aspects of CBT Incorporating feedback, research findings, and the collective wisdom of seasoned practitioners, this module distills the essence of CBT into 20 key aspects. These encompass effective techniques, foundational theories, best practices, and insights into the therapeutic process, offering a rich resource for both novice and experienced therapists. Lesson 8.1, Top 10 Effective Techniques in CBT Objective highlight the most effective CBT techniques, as evidenced by research and clinical practice. Content. Summarize each technique's theoretical basis, application, and evidence for effectiveness. Techniques include cognitive restructuring, behavioral activation, exposure therapy, mindfulness-based strategies, and problem-solving therapy, among others. How to do slash apply. Practical demonstrations via video case studies, showing the application and outcomes of each technique. Interactive workshops where learners can practice these techniques in simulated therapy sessions. Lesson 8.2, Best Practices in CBT for Schizophrenia. Objective, Consolidate Best Practices in Applying CBT for Managing Schizophrenia, Focusing on Symptom Management and Enhancing Quality of Life. Content. Detailed exploration of techniques tailored for schizophrenia, including dealing with delusions, hallucinations, and negative symptoms. Discussion on integrating CBT with medication management and other supportive therapies. How to do slash apply. Analyze case studies to understand the multifaceted approach to treating schizophrenia with CBT. Role play scenarios to practice specific interventions aimed at common challenges in schizophrenia. Lesson 8.3 Innovations and Future Directions in CBT. Objective Examine the latest innovations in CBT and predict future trends in therapy techniques, technology integration, and therapeutic applications. Content Overview of recent advancements, such as digital CBT, CBTI applications, and their implications for therapy. Discussion on the evolving landscape of mental health treatment, including personalized medicine and the integration of AI in therapeutic settings. How to do slash apply. Group discussions on the potential impact of emerging technologies on the practice of CBT. Encourage learners to engage in continuous learning through online courses, webinars, and professional networks focusing on the future of CBT. Module 9, Case Studies and Practical Applications. 
This module is dedicated to bridging theory and practice through an extensive compilation of case studies illustrating the application of CBT across various disorders and settings. It offers learners the opportunity to apply their knowledge in complex, real-world scenarios, enhancing their diagnostic and therapeutic skills. Content A diverse collection of case studies, including anxiety disorders, depression, schizophrenia, and personality disorders. Each case study provides detailed background information, treatment plans, session transcripts, and outcomes. How to do slash apply Small group discussions to dissect each case, propose treatment strategies, and predict outcomes. Supervised role plays based on case studies to practice therapy techniques and receive feedback. Module 10, Course Wrap-Up and Continuing Education. This final module encourages reflection on the learning journey, consolidation of key insights, and planning for ongoing professional development and application of CBT in clinical practice. Content Reflective exercises to identify personal and professional growth areas and set future learning objectives. Resources for continuing education, including journals, books, conferences, and online platforms specializing in CBT. How to do slash apply. Development of a personalized continuing education plan, incorporating specific goals, resources, and timelines. Creation of a professional development group or mentorship circle for ongoing support and learning. Conclusion This comprehensive course on cognitive behavioral therapy, from its foundations to the cutting edge of practice, aims to equip learners with not just the knowledge and skills to apply CBT techniques effectively but also with the ethical framework and reflective practice necessary for continuous growth and development as a therapist. Through a blend of theory, practical application, and ongoing professional development, learners are prepared to make a meaningful impact in their practice, contributing to the well-being of their clients and the advancement of the field.